Hi Taurus, it's Gwen, and I'm here to do what's the goods reading, energy reading for your sign. Um, you actually uh, inspired me, your sign, your season, happy birthday to you, um, to do this type of reading because Taurus season is about, <clears throat> the sign of Taurus is about luxury, beauty, nature, love, right? Um, and so, you know, the sign of Taurus, they, they know, you know, the, the, to treat their body well, right? What they consume, right? Um, to surround themselves with richness in life, to get dressed up in their best, right? Like they they understand, understand um, a heel Taurus, anyways. Um, what wealth is, right? So, thank you for inspiring this type of reading. I've been enjoying it. And so I have a lot of messages for you today, Taurus. Remember, it's general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own reading, I'm doing those too, so just reach out to me. All my information is in the box. Dropping a comment really helps the channel so that the video can be seen. But it also is your chance to win a free reading. If you drop a comment, you get your name entered into my drawing that I do, my giveaway I do each month. So thank you, Taurus, for all the support that you give the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for those good karma donations. Um, I love you, tribe, and let's just get started. Um, you may have travel on the mind or moving, adventure, uh, <clears throat> playfulness, Taurus, love on the mind, um, because I decided to intuitively draw two postcards. I collect postcards. I love postcards. And so I shuffled up my all the postcards that I have, and I draw draw I was going to draw one out of the box well two came out and so I want to show you the pictures and then interpret them for you so birds are coming through which is talking about like all types of small birds here and these are the birds that remind us all birds are messengers okay they're not here to learn from us Taurus we're here to learn from them okay um and so you'll you will continuously see birds or winged creatures Taurus because it is the time for you to fly sing your soul song whatever it might be pursue your creativeness uh, uh, music acting is theatrics is definitely coming through um, through the animal oracle cards I see here and your postcards uh, home and tribe too always look at the bright side of life look at this cute postcard I have here okay all kinds of birds and um, embracing their own unique song right every bird has a different song that they sing and so let that shine okay and even if you think it's like on the back of the postcard here it says bizarre written in a very uh, weird kind of way and this bird in the top here it looks like even like a little blurp like from a TV screen or something like that's why I'm saying there's acting or music or theatrics here like just maybe you're just your throat chakra is healed you're letting out your truths here it almost looks yeah a bit of venting here <laughs> but lots of maybe you're surrounded by lots of children choir I even feel here and bird song so always looking Always look at the bright side of light, the light, okay? A reminder from your guides. And you could be attracting a lot of soul tribe or family soul tribe on the mind right now. And then you also have the hummingbird spirit here. It's a powerful, beautiful uh, bird spirit animal to have. Okay. Look at all this blue energy here, too, and the sun coming in. Um, this is like an actual card made of beautiful paper, blank inside, ready for you to write your story here. What's the hummingbird, hummingbird's message? Blue is about truth, <clears throat> emotional truth, okay? What would you do, Taurus, if you knew you could not fail? What would you do if you knew you could not fail? That's what I'm going to name the reading. The hummingbird reminds us about, I mean, he's so tiny. They, he, she, what? But the hummingbird's so tiny. It has to beat its wings so fast, right? 
Um, so it's talking about you being really resilient um, and fo and focusing. Like, what is the hummingbird? The hummingbird has to to constantly search for that next blossom or that the food, right? Like, because he's beating his wings so fast, because he's moving so fast, he's moving in all directions, too. That's significant for in your reading, okay? Um, looking at things from a different angle, possibly. Moving to a new location. The migration of the hummingbirds. Um, and also, it's important. Like, he's always looking for the, for the nectar, right? So, looking for those blessed new opportunities. Focusing on that, okay? Uh, there is a, always a tend to be a sometimes a frenetic kind of energy that comes with the hummingbird. I tend to... Tell my tell people that I have that kind of hummingbird em energy as a Gemini. Um, so it's important to nourish yourself. It's important to remain resilient, um, and also utilize some like I feel like the hummingbird is so playful, captures your eye, right? So playful, moves so fast and quick, right? Like so, things are going to start moving. Messages are going to start coming fast. When you see one, when you're blessed by maybe several of them, this is a sign of new uh, prosperity coming, new beginnings coming. It's a blessed sign to see this, okay? To see this little beauty. And love coming and flirtatious. There's the, the hummingbird is playful and flirtatious, okay? So that's what I see coming with this... Um, with this card, okay? Artists to Watch is the creator here by Jim Bradenberg. So I'm wondering if that's a it's, a, it's an actual painting. So, you know, maybe you're taking your creativity to a new level. This is a blank card here, a blank slate, okay? Some creative endeavors here. Bless new beginnings with that sun shining there. Okay, so that's your postcard. But I love reading. I love postcards. So some old-fashioned values is at play as well. A lot of people don't send postcards anymore, but it's something I collect and my tribe knows it. Like when I travel, I try to pick one up from the states that I'm in. And, and you know, when people send me cards or gift me cards or whatever, then I add them into my mix. So... Next, we have playing cards. I love to read playing cards as well, Taurus. And I have four cards for you. So you're going to see a lot of fours in your reading today, I feel. Yeah. I've got the mouse spirit popping up at me to say, yes, you're going to see a lot of fours. Pay attention to the small details today. Taurus, it may be something I say, a phrase I say, a number frequency that you keep seeing that pops up here. That's your sign. Okay. Pay attention. Tend to the small things, the mouse says. So, four cards, home foundations, temple, body, um, <clears throat> rest, rejuvenation. We're in, while I'm recording this, we're in a, a Mercury retrograde, which is those time to, to rest, to recreate, to rewrite, to rejuvenate. Yeah, reevaluate things, focus, refocus. Yeah, all these rewords. You've got two wands, two clubs cards or wands cards or fire cards, however you want to see it. You got the ace of wands here and the ten of wands. The ten of wands is uh, both are a, an omen, a sign when I'm reading the cards here. Bless, ble new beginnings, bless new beginnings, a lucky time for you. I always read my clubs cards as uh, good luck omen. And it's a brand new beginning. It's a passionate new beginning. It's a creative endeavor. You are no longer living up to other people's expectations. The 10 is the ending and the new beginning. Okay? There's a lot of passion here for this new beginning. They're face up at me. Okay? And what's, uh, what's here? Uh, now we've got a king of diamonds here. Diamonds is money, is pentacles. Okay? This could be even an investor, a divine masculine. Okay? It also represents you and your energy, okay? So feeling your own flavor, feeling your own wealth, um, feeling your feeling empowered, the masculine within you. It could also be a masculine in your life, an investor, an older masculine energy here. Uh, it could be um, you becoming your own boss, ace of wands, king of pentacles, 
Um, a lucky connection, I want to say, okay, with the diamonds there. An investment that pays off. Your hard work paying off. King of Diamonds. Yeah, oh, yeah. Joker. Joker at play. This is a guaranteed success right here. It says guarantee. Okay? I'm just noting that. The Joker here. The Fool here. This is my Fool card. Somebody's willing to take a leap of faith. Take a risk. It's a, it's a childlike energy. It's a brand new beginning. I trust my gut. I trust my intuition. I'm going to be brave and bold. I'm going to surrender and take a leap of faith in the unknown. That's the fool card. There's a wild card at play. I call that. Oh, there might be some risk involved here with this, with this new beginning. But somebody's ready to ride that. Get back on the bike and ride it again. You know, like once you learn how to ride a bike... There's somebody who's taken leaps before is the way that I feel. Experienced. King of Pentacles energy. Wealthy King of Pentacles energy here. And there's some balance that's going to be restored here with the Six of Diamonds. Again, we're talking money, talking financial stuff. So work, financial things like stocks, bonds, loans, blah, blah, blah. Money, material gain. Balance restored in your accounts. Balance, yeah, that's the six energy. This is another sign of good luck. And I usually say, what's behind it? What's behind it? More clubs and another six. I can't make this shit up. So that's more luck, more balance, more peace, more tranquility, more centeredness come into your life here. About giving and receiving energy as well. Wow, what you value. What do you value, Taurus? Okay. What gets you fired up? It's a new love connection. It's right here. Ace of, <laughs> Ace of Hearts. It's a new love connection wanting to pop in, Taurus. Pay attention. Okay. So that's a taste of, they call it cardomancy. So playing cards. I can read any cards. That's why sometimes I bust out the cards against humanity. Add them into your readings, but not today. We're doing Animal Oracle. I've had this deck for a long time. So it's an old deck, old wisdom, but, you know, like, I think it's pertinent for present moment. Our animals, are, the animals are our teachers, okay? What are the animals guiding you right now? What What's the goods? What's the goods? And then I clarified with my Akashic Records tarot. So here comes the bird. The bird, the bird, <laughs> the nightingale. I don't know if I'm saying it right. The nightingale, the nightingale. This is the beauty in the darkness. This is the songbird that sings. The little tiny bird that sings at night. The male sings to the it's it to its mate at night. A sweet sweet song that the nightingale actually practices. Like beforehand, because he wants it to, like this bird can mimic and make so many different sounds. So it's about sound healing coming into your life as well. Look at the megaphone here. I've already once told you with the postcard, sing your song. Maybe you are a musician, a singer. Um, but yeah, and it's about love and romance a lot. Like uh, in Romeo and Juliet, they mention the nightingale. Hans Krinsch, Hans Krinsch and Anderson wrote about the nightingale. Yeah, it's definitely love and romance flowing in, into your life. Love is all around you, okay? And you're finding that love, like a love for the mystery in life again. A love for the un your unique fucking expression, darlings. That's the nightingale. It gives me chills. I'm like, this is a little sweet little bird. Yeah, the, the masculine uh, nightingale actually um, goes to get food for the, the feminine bird, goes and helps feed the children. It's just a sweet little story, these nightingales, and how he practices all of his sounds. Like, I think I was reading about the nightingale once, and it's like they make over a thousand different sounds, right? So, sound healing is important. 
this person's voice may just be music to your ears and you just love it. There's romance in the air. Maybe you communicate with love language or this person does. Nightingale, 41. I'm going to embrace my uniqueness too. The creatives out there, I'm going to sing my song loud and proud. 41 is a 5. There's the 4 and then the 1. Again, I'm going to point out those numbers. 4, 1. Big change coming. It's a new beginning, and here it is. Clarified with, again, and this deck is called the Forces, but here's the Ace of Wands again. You are a creative force to be reckoned with. You're actually creating with the words that you sing. And you know when we sing, and we're really into it, and we really feel it, when we sing with our whole soul, you're creating while you do that, darlings. My poets, my mystics, my, my creatives, my singers, my artists out there. Here it is. Grab it. The, 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 the Akashic Force with you. The Force with you. The Force is with you. It's right here. It's, you're drawing it in. It's magnetic. There's a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of color here. This is depicting the northern light. Okay? It's awe. It's, oh, it's beautiful. New beginning. Right next to that, they're showing me progression in your journey. 41, now 42. They may be little baby steps, but they're steps, okay? And they're, they're your angels and your guides, specifically the Archangels, and specifically Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is out with card number three in the Major Arcana here to say, you are not alone, Taurus. You are so fucking loved. We love you. The Otter Spirit. It is a time to nurture yourself and your family. 42 is a six frequency. That's how to maintain balance. There's a lot of tender love and care. I do believe the otter nurses its young and like takes care of its young for like constantly for like a couple of years of uh, before they even like are on their own. There's there's a need for that self care and nurturing and then like and hugging and, and touch. Touch is super important right now. Intimacy. You are never alone. Gabriel. The power of God here is coming through with Gabriel. Um and he's also here to help with your creative pursuits. Um which which I'm talking about, like the theater, acting, television, music, okay? This is, if I had to correlate this to a regular tarot deck, this is Empress Energy. This is you manifesting, okay? That you are co-creating with spirit, Taurus, okay? When this card appears upright, it indicates a profound connection to this, to this wonderful presence, your power of expression is on the rise now. You will have an easier time communicating with others, expressing your feelings, and even working on projects involving communication, such as publishing, counseling, teaching, mediumship, journalism, marketing, radio, or television. Now is the time for any of these endeavors, but no matter what you do, remember the power of words. Call on Gabriel to inspire you and let yourself sing out. <laughs> Confirmation again there. Love that. Okay. And yes, sometimes life stings. I have the wasp spirit here. So maybe you've been experiencing in love, in work, whatever it might be, in social settings, some sort of rejection. It's here. Sometimes life stings. Card, six, four. Six and a four again, okay? Which is an ending and a beginning. Let go of the past. Quit replaying over and over the pain that happened in the past as well, okay? You can tell a new story now, okay? This pain, this whatever hurt, maybe with some truth that has come to the light here, uh, rejection in your career, uh, finances, maybe, maybe uh, bankruptcy. I, I don't know. There was something that really fucking stung a, a breakup, um, something within the home foundations here with possibly a father energy as well, or a husband, the King of Roses. Okay. There's always about a, a, a love connection. The rose is a high vibrational love. So that's 
So, yeah, I, I clarified, and it, it's about this King of Cups. So a Cancer, Scor Cancer Scorpio Pisces, not necessarily, but, um, and there was some sort of faded meeting. Card seven. And seven is a chariot energy. It's a, de it's a determined energy. It's travel energy. It's destined faded. What happened, the, the, the part that hurt, like, it could be divine intervention. It was faded, right? It was just a matter of time, too, with that big Ben, okay? There's possibly, too, I feel like there's another love connection wanting to come in with this nightingale. A faded meeting here. Higher self's guiding you. So let go of the pain of the past, Okay? Your heart only ever expands, Taurus. Your heart will heal. It, even if it feels like it's breaking, okay? See the light in the situation. That's a couple of times we've said that. Well, the dragonflies here. See all these winged creatures here to help too, okay? The, the dragonfly flies like the hummingbird in all different directions, right? So it's reminding us too that we're multidimensional beings of light. See the light, the silver lining in a situation? You know how the dragonfly's wings capture the light, right? Card 22 is a four, darling. Four. We, you know we have four bodies, right? Y'all know that? We have mental, we have emotional, we have physical, and what else? Spiritual body. Okay, that's the dragonfly. See the truth beyond the illusion. Some sort of truth has come to the light is what this is telling me as well. Okay? Um, and it, you're here now with options, with taking um, like a different road, a different path. You have different pathways before you here. You need to make a choice. Paths unknown. But you have all this wisdom right by you too. See, on, at the front of each opening of these paths, I don't know if you can see that very clear, but there is this little spirit guide animal guiding you as well, like you are never alone. One has a raccoon, one has a squirrel, the other one is a fox, okay? So one path is foxes. Some, some paths might be a little bit tricky, a little bit, there's a lot of shadow here in, in one of these paths. One path is completely lit up for you, but it requires you to take a leap of faith with the squirrel there. And one path is has dark and light spots on it, okay, where you can see some light, um, and that has the raccoon energy there. You'll know which one's speaking to you, okay? This is Eight of Swords eight of, in this deck, but I... In this deck, it's all about what wisdom you've gained along your journey. Eight is about coming to some sort of balance. Like you can trust your intuition now, the wisdom that you've gained. to Make a choice of which path you want to take. Choices before you here. Being dedicated to, to whatever this um, talent is as well. Sun is shining through the forest there. Okay. Mysterious forces that work. There's a dove flying there in the background. Another, another messenger of peace. Don't miss the dove, it says. Don't miss, uh, they're all over here, the winged creatures. So now I've got the chameleon spirit to wrap up this part of the reading. And then I'm going to draw you some, I'm curious about your love situation, so I'm going to draw love notes from the universe. But I've got the chameleon here with card 14. Again, the four and the one, the new beginning, and the home. And the need to protect your energy, fours are, okay? It's a boxed-in kind of energy. You take care of your four bodies, I hear. Act as if. So somebody, this came in the reverse. It was the only one to come in reverse. So somebody um, could be putting on a, a, a performance, I want to say, the moon card is here, too. There's mystery in the air. Things are up in the air. And here's this queen of cups. Like When the couple comes out here in the same suit, 
we're talking about a power couple. We could be talking about a mom and dad, familial situation here. But there's fear, there's illusion, there's mystery here, things being up in the air within, within a connection, I want to say. We've got a lot of cups and roses energy here. Um, and, and with this chameleon in the reverse, we've got to talk about that, my loves. And what that means in, for you, okay? It's important because I feel like it's somebody in your life that's a mirror in your life. And the reason I say that is because I have a 41 and a 14 here. You started your reading with a 41 with the nightingale. It's just super important. And we've got the 14 here. So it's a mirror energy. Okay, And chameleon is about like camouflaging and taking on like... It's a sensitive being that can change its color to adapt to its environment. So maybe you're taking on somebody else's energy as well. Okay. You need to protect yourself. There's a lot of fours here. Withdraw from social media. Withdraw from the drama, Taurus, is what this chameleon, I think, is trying to say here. Okay. Maybe you're holding back and acting as if everything is is good or I, I don't know. Act as if. And that mouse keeps popping out at me, tending to the small things. Let's talk about this. I'm reading you the protection message. Um, being sensitive and having empathy for others can become a heavy burden if you don't practice self-care. Yeah, that's yep, what I was talking about. Could it be you're feeling stressed because you've tuned in to challenging emotions that aren't even yours? Chameleon spirit does not want you to adapt to these conditions by withdrawing or distracting yourself, hoping the feelings will just go away or attempting to rescue another who may be having a pity party. You can be swallowed up trying to manage it all. It's time to figure out where you end and then the rest of the world begins. Where do you end and where does the rest of the world begin? Do you take time out and space for yourself, Taurus? Now's the time to do that. Not all conditions are yours to match. You need to distinguish your own color from the rest of the world right now. And that was definitely this nightingale about stepping outside of some sort of box. Your own unique soul song creative expression. Okay? Um... You, I'm going to read it again. You need to distinguish your own color from the rest of the world right now and take time to soothe your sensitive soul. Choose some activities that will restore your sense of being grounded and avoid people who revel in drama. Take a break from social media. You got that twice. <laughs> Self-care and a timeout is the answer to this temper. If there's a temp, it's a temporary dilemma is what they're calling it. All right. Okay. So now. Now, love notes from the universe. What's going on? I really kind of want to explore that nightingale energy spirit. Where love is in the air. Can you tell me about this new love coming in for Taurus? The Taurus babies out there. It could be with somebody and it could be a rekindling again of a relationship. A renewal of your vows. Love comes in all forms. It's not just romantic, but in this case with the nightingale. I feel real I feel like it's a lot of romance and, and courting and yeah, it, it feels old fashioned. It feels oh, so sweet and beautiful. Taurus, that's what I feel for you. What's on the table here? What's on the table? I got a few here. Green. The garden of love. So this is you planting beautiful seeds of unconditional love. Okay. Sowing seeds of love within the connection. The garden of love. Growth within the connection. Okay. Le learning uh, deeper uh, levels of love. Higher vibrational love. I've been talking a lot about rose energy here for you all as well. Okay. You have a secret admirer, Taurus. Here it is. It's right out on the open. It's right here on the table. That's the goods. Let me check you out. Do you know it yet? 
Love is the flower. You've got to let it grow. John Lennon. Lady Gaga, tell you, somebody communicates with music here. Flowers, growth, blossoming, let it grow. Mm. Maybe this person has loved, has been, there's been some love there for a while. Somebody is giving somebody else some space. Um, which is important for a Taurus. You know, a Taurus likes to be independent too, but also come together in, the, in with the family, right? Like a partner that's got their own thing and powerful and doing their thing, but also you have uh, dreams and th things together as well, right? Like take the leap. Shit, I've said that already with you with that. Um, there's a leap of faith that was the Joker card and the squirrel card. Squirrel came out. Take the leap. Somebody was going to take a leap of faith here. Secret admirer. It's this deep blue, bluish purple energy here. I don't want to call them gray. It's it's dark. It's a dark horse, I hear. Mm, Taurus, what's going on? Tell me more about what's going on in love. That's, these are cards just flew out in the future. Future energy coming in here. Mirrors of truth. They're like confirming things that I said in this reading for you all, okay? They're just double confirming it for you if you need it. This person is a mirror in your life, and they show you a lot of truths about yourself, okay? Kiss me deadly. You just want to Somebody wants to kiss the other person so passionately. Like... <sighs> kiss me deadly is also a song. Kiss me Kiss me twice. Come on, ba pretty baby. Kiss me deadly. Yeah, I got a thing for you in this fucking reading with a nightingale, right? Like, kiss me deadly, man. Woof. Woof. Really? I wonder what's going to come out next because now the song Whip It's coming on. You guys, Taurus, whip it, baby. Let's whip it right. <laughs> I love you, Taurus. Uh, what else? Future energy. So if this ain't happening right now, like with this, this love connection, the secret of my is coming here in the future, in the near future, okay? You got to figure out, Taurus, that you are enough. Empress energy, you are enough in this now moment, in in the healing process. What you know, you are enough. This person thinks you are enough too. This pink is about self care. Pour more love into your cup. Okay. This person also loves to cuddle. You make this person purr. Uh, there's a lot of intimacy, touch, cuddle, cat connection here. Cat energy here with the purr. Could be dealing with a Leo as well. Making your own self purr. Self care here. Purr. Please open your heart to the new you. Let go of the past. Let go of the pain, the heartache, that wasp spirit, okay? The things that didn't work out. Embrace who you are in this now moment. I'm getting choked up reading this one. Choked up in the throat right here, okay? Maybe you need to let out your pain, voice your pain, scream your pain, sing your pain, let it out. It feels like it's stuck right here, Taurus. <clears throat> Please open your heart. A change of heart. Somebody's having a change of heart and it's bright orangish red. There's a lot of passion in this connection. Somebody's seeing their own patterns, the spiral here, okay? They have, somebody's having a change of heart. And nobody's fool. Another song, okay? It's definitely a Taurus energy. I'm nobody's fucking fool, right? These are my boundaries. This is what I want. Somebody's having a change of heart. This is a soulmate connection. What else for Taurus? So they know that I'm talking to them. Right here on the table. Right here on the table. More. Wow. Lots of them. Could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We'll stop it here. Let go. Surrender. Take a leap of faith. It's bright pink. 
fuchsia even. Woo, Dallas. Who I feel warm up in here. Let go. Just love it for a sight, Taurus. Love it for a sight. Oh my God. Lighthouse. Lantern lighthouse energy. You light this person's soul on fire. You you will have been a light to them and compassionate to them and understanding, understanding of them in their darkness. Be a light to others at this time. You bring light into this person's life. The white card. There are epiphanies and revelations of love. Somebody wants to sing, speak into existence. I am in love. Sing it into existence. <laughs> it is a divine truth, the white here. <laughs> somebody's breaking chains there could be a breakup involved breaking free to start something new breaking chains that bind us that keep us stagnant right somebody stepping outside of the box new views new you breaking chains i love that and yeah there's been some somebody's been heartbroken and that's why there's that need for that tender loving care taurus okay pour into your own cup now Okay. Tend to the small things. What's that mouse talking about? Like that's our mindfulness practices. Clear out the clutter from your mind, right? What are you consuming? What are you watching? What are you eating? Right? Huh? What do you listen to? There's sound healing here, you know? Listen to beautiful music. Um, get out in nature, listen to the birds singing. Okay. Are you open to receiving love and wealth in your life? A wealth and plethora of love because it's here, right? <laughs> Somebody's having a change of heart. Somebody's struck with Cupid's arrow here. <laughs> Tend to your business and allow this love in, okay? Because you're taking care of yourself, you're loving yourself, filling up your cup, nurturing all of yourself. Then you're going to draw that in, okay? That's why the, the, the mouse was like, can you just please show me? I usually don't like mouses. I you nice. I usually scream. <laughs> but he's a cute little guy. He's you know, those small things tend to add up when we don't take care of those little things that bug us or whatever, you know? So that too. Be mindful of your energy. Call your energy back to you. I'm talking about spirituality. Do you meditate? Do you do grounding? Right? How are you what are ways to stimulate the child heart in you creative and creatively? Okay? Right? Do you exercise and stretch? These are all ways that you can tend to the small things. Okay? All right. I love you, Torres. Take good care of you. Wow, I rambled on forever, but those are some great messages today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment down below and smash that thumbs up for me today. All right? I love you so fucking much.